Hello and welcome back to Miami Star Tarot. I am doing July 2020 readings. They are general readings. There is no set topic for these. I am just seeing what the cards want me to say for each of the signs. I am not doing um, three signs in a row like I normally do. These are individual for each sign. I have already done Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. Today, right now, I mean, I'm going to be doing Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is going to be your reading, and it's going to be just about whatever the cards feel or whatever the energies out there in the universe feel that you need to know for July 2020. This isn't the only um, basic message that you need to pay attention to. It is just something that is there for you to think about and something that is probably going to uh, you know be on your uh, in on your mind for the month of um for july now this is not going to resonate with everybody so if it doesn't resonate with you then maybe i'll catch you next time but in the meantime um i hope that you enjoy the reading either way and it could apply to you may not apply to you in july i don't know i'm calling it a july 2020 read however all right, so I am using a different deck today. I am using uh, a deck that I've had for a little bit. It's called the Bianco Nero Tarot Deck. It is a gorgeous black and white deck. As you can see, it is hand-drawn ink illustrations, and I absolutely love how gorgeous and clean these images are. They are a little bit more modernized uh, writer weight, which you all know is, uh, well, I'm, I've said it, and I don't know if you've seen my videos, but I have said it many times on my videos. My absolute favorite uh, deck is the original Rider Waite, but these are a, uh, a modernized, hand-drawn, well, the other ones are hand-drawn too, but anywho, these are gorgeous. I love the black and white, and I think you will too. All right, Scorpio, let's see what messages there are for you for July 2020 double check really quick that I did push start I did we're gonna go back down okay so I am going to be doing a shortened version of the Celtic cross I call it the gypsy spread six cards I will be pulling clarifiers for some so Scorpio what is going on for you in July of 2020 Scorpio, July 2020. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for July 2020? All right, I will cut the cards. Now it has here and there gotten very windy, so I may be guarding some of the cards if they start flying away. I'm sorry for that, but it is so beautiful out here that I want to be outside on my deck. There we go. I can't see very well, so I, I hope you can see the cards. If not, not a big deal. I try to hold them up to the camera, and I also tell you... Oh, this one was just revealed. I also tell you what the card is. All right, so here we go. Let me spread them out so I have my space. All right, so th the middle card right here is basically kind of been talking about, like, the overall theme so here we have Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of conflict. Um, maybe some arguing, some not getting along. It could be lack of management, lack of supervision. It could be some bickering, some quarreling going on. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that to get a little bit more of a stronger message, but it looks like July, there's going to be some disagreements going on with you, Scorpio. And the disagreement is going to be, and it, you got the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, as you can see, is a very fast-moving energy. And it really speaks to a certain kind of an attitude, whether it's you or another person. But somebody is definitely coming in like a bulldozer and causing a little bit of issues for you, Scorpio, unless that is you. It could be you. So as we open up some of these or reveal the cards, we may find out a little bit more. The clarifying card, I just wanted 
to help bring up the overall theme, but there is definitely some disagreements going on for you in the month of July. If it's at work, and you know better than anybody else because it's you. If it's at work, if it's at home, wherever it is that you are, Scorpio, central theme is that there is some cutthroat kind of attitude or or more of um, ruthlessness. Like the Knight of Swords can be a very ruthless person, somebody that, it could also be someone that's very gossipy. The Knight of Swords can be a person that really, you know, has a sharp tongue and can cause issues that way. So let's see what's going on here because, you know, Scorpio, it could also be you. And it's more of a, hey, watch kind of the way that you're talking, kind of be a little bit more mindful of how you're speaking to people if you're, you know, more of a management position. Because it could be contributing to the bickering going on. All right. So anyways, and I'm not saying it is you, but it's, it's definitely there's bickering going on and somebody is being a little bit of a cutthroat or a little harsh with their words. I'm going to turn the obstacle card and the obstacle is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune can be a very good card, but you also have to understand that as soon as the Wheel of Fortune turns and it hits completion you get to spin that wheel again and you may not get something that you like the wheel of fortune has all kinds of things your fortune's not always great so you are not having the best of luck or you are or there are situations where things are kind of falling apart because somebody it's it's being caused by a person for sure and whoever that person is, I'm wanting to get a little bit more clarity. Um, it's, I got the hermit. So there is the feeling, um, Scorpio, that the person that may be causing some of this disagreement or this bickering is you. Um, for whatever reason, it's it, what's going on. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't need to be happening but maybe it's happening to a point where it's it's more or less causing a lot of fighting because it's your approach versus anything else, okay? So you are not finding a lot of luck in that wheel of fortune because there are things that are being said or things that are being done or your approach to certain things are not allowing some of this bickering. It, it's almost like adding fuel to the fire, okay? So the obstacle is um, having a little bit more balance and having things sort of work themselves out so that people are a little bit happier. Um, it looks like when there is something going on that's negative, like possibly the way you're approaching it is just causing that wheel of fortune to spin around again and land on negative again. So. The Hermit card for this obstacle, it's not that it's saying that the Hermit or a person that's very secluded, very reserved is causing issues. It means lack of self-reflection. Okay, a Hermit is not a person that comes out and presents themselves to the world and talks, speaks their problems. A Hermit is somebody that really reflects and takes into perspective their own behavior. So I'm thinking, Scorpio, that if there are some things going on, if it's at home or if it's at work, that I think you need to take a little bit of time to think and self-reflect yourself. Like, what am I doing that I could change to make this bickering stop? And like I said earlier, it's not, I'm, it could just be happening because, you know, maybe you have a hot temper or you just don't, know how to approach situations with a little bit more a mindful mindset you know there are just some people that are a little bit more cutthroat swords are about air and int intellect maybe you just don't see what the big deal is and why people are getting upset and you don't see why the fighting is going on because it is your way of being <laughs> What this is telling you for the month of July is that maybe you do need to stop and self-reflect and decide what am I doing that I could do differently so that there's a little bit more harmony 
either at home or in the workplace, wherever it is that this bickering is going on, okay? So the obstacle here is that you are not doing this. You are not looking at yourself as the source of possible... Um, you have the power, is what I'm trying to say, to make things better, but you're not using it that way. You're not using the power to do that. So what, whatever it is that's happening, you definitely... Scorpio hold the key to making things more harmonious either at home or in the workplace okay so we definitely have some some uh, bickering some shifts that need to happen as far as how things get approached okay to bring a little bit more harmony maybe look at things in other people's perspective um, instead of thinking that your way is the only way and that maybe they're just being sensitive. So let's look at this card up here is um, they're not this is not necessarily at your disposal, but it could be a tool. It could be a mindset that could be coming to become yours. It could become yours. OK, it's almost like a little bit of a future card. OK, so you got the five of, of swords which is a somewhat similar card to the Five of Wands, which is a card that reflects um, bickering, disagreements. Uh, but this card here, and you can see it a little bit better in the Rider Way card, the original, it's the inability to let things go. And it looks to me like in your future, there may be, um, or it could, it could be like, it could become yours in the future, that you may end up resentful. This is a card of, of a battle or some fighting that has already happened. But this person holding the swords right here doesn't want to let it go. They're resentful. They want to fight more. Someone really ticked them off. And they cannot get past it. So we don't want to be in a place where you become embittered, Scorpio, or that you feel the need to get revenge, or that revenge is on your mind. So it looks like if some of these things aren't happening, like if you're not reflecting or thinking about, hey, wait a minute, what can I do to maybe make this not be happening so much? Or how can I be more fair? And how could I look at things in other people's perspective? It may get to a point where you may become resentful and maybe even hateful toward somebody. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that one as well. And you may find yourself in a situation where you may have to make a choice or a choice may be made for you. Um, if it's in a relationship, Scorpio, it could lead down the path where you are going to find yourself alone um, and having to make a decision to, I don't know, but it might be a little bit kind of too late where you, this is a card of choice for sure, the two of wands, but once you reach a point where you're getting kind of resentful or you're causing some very seriously resentful feelings, you may be put in a position where, you know, either p employees are going to start leaving and you're going to be faced with a choice. Do I change? I got to change my ways. But it could it could happen in a point where you wish you can reverse the clock, but you kind of can't. So you will be moving forward. You might change your ways and make better decisions, but some damage will have already been done. Okay, Scorpio, and we don't want you to get to that point. We want you to be more in a in a position where you can on your own approach people. And let's say it's a relationship. Maybe you're, let's say you're you're a male and you're having a lot of, you know, bad situations with your wife. You're having a lot of bickering, a lot of fighting. Maybe you're wanting things your way or, you know, if it's reversed, then it's reversed. But, you know, you want to be able to come to them and say, hey, listen, I've been thinking, you know, maybe yesterday when I said this, I was too harsh. I'm sorry. That Scorpio gets you ahead so much more than you coming at the end when the person has basically thrown you out or, th you know, said, I don't want this relationship anymore. I'm done. And then you say, oh, wait a minute. Now, now that I'm looking back, 
after the fact doesn't mean as much as when you approach them on your own and say, listen, I've been thinking, I apologize for this. Can we move forward? I will be more, um, and I'll be more, you know, thoughtful and mindful of your feelings. So that goes a long way more because when people go back, it's kind of like saying, I'm sorry after you're caught. It doesn't mean that much when, you know, when you're forced to say you're sorry. And I'm just using that as, as an example. When you say you're sorry and you admit your wrongdoing before someone like beats it out of you pretty much, it means so much more. If this is a work situation, it's just gonna make you a stronger leader at work. It can make you a stronger colleague and partner, a, t a teammate. And that you, you're just mindful of that all the time, not just that one moment. <laughs> Sorry, I've been talking so much. So this is not this is not definitely going to happen up here. Like, but it could lead to resentful feelings and feelings of you not being able to let something go. Okay, this here is it is yours. It is at your disposal, and it is happening right now. And it could also be a tool, something that you have to your advantage that you can use. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, so you've got the Knight of Swords here, which is a very fast moving energy. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, but it's a very productive energy, okay? And this, I think, to have in your back pocket, this ability is awesome. Because it tells me, Scorpio, that whatever it is that's going on, you have the capacity and you have what's the word I'm looking for you have the capacity you have the intelligence to know when you are being a little bit too harsh and you're, you're a very smart person Scorpio you're you're very crafty too so this tells me that you have the capacity to slow down and reflect and think and be a problem solver okay so this this um, knight comes in to solve problems. They come in with solutions. They come in with good intentions. And this is a great, awesome card to have in your back pocket. It is at your disposal. You have the mindset to dig deep in yourself and figure out what it is that you're doing and what it is that you need to change. It's a problem solver. It is a, a pentacles are about security. Um, it could be job. So if, if this is at home, then you you have the ability, Scorpio, to say, hey, you know what? I'm not being fair. I'm going to approach this this way. I'm going to be more gentle. I'm going to reflect. I'm going to, you know, try to figure out what that person needs from me and give it to them. If it's a workplace, same thing, okay? Not a bad thing to have in your back pocket because not a lot of people can put themselves in somebody else's shoes. It is a very slow moving energy, but in this case, I don't think it's a slow thing. It's more of a um, consistency. Like you have the ability to be consistent in behavior that is going to get you a lot further, okay? You're, you're a fast moving sign, Scorpio. You move fast, you think fast, um, you like things done yesterday. Um, you can also, you know, I know a couple Scorpios, you guys can also like, you, you know, if you're not getting what you want, you can be kind of sneaky and secretive about stuff. Um, so you don't want to be like that when things aren't going your way. You want to be, and, and of course this is also self-interest where you want things to be more secure for yourself is where you have the ability to do this what needs to be done okay to kind of slow down be the opposite of this right here and be more caring and more nurturing and try to get the job done that needs to get done okay so that's not a bad thing to have in your back pocket near uh near past or recent past and that affects your future of course, this could be two years ago, it could be two days ago, okay? It all depends on what that means to you, recent past, okay? But the important thing is that it is 
part of it, it's affecting your present I, I don't know if I said future earlier that's not what I meant if I did say that it is about your present as well so these are things that have happened energies that are there thoughts that are there feelings that are there um, that could possibly be affecting you in the future in the present sorry I just did it again and you have the high priestess okay the high priestess is a card of secrets it's a card of um, things that you need to learn things that you know learn about yourself um, self uh, like when you find out things about yourself self-reflection it is a it could be a very secretive card also. It's a card of mystery as well. Um, and it just tells me that in the past you have been kind of secretive about things. Um, maybe a little dishonest, Scorpio, about certain things. And it can affect you in the present right now. So if this is a relationship that we're, that we're talking about, um, you, you know, you might want to look within yourself and say, you know, where am I being dishonest where it would matter if I come forward and reveal these things, you know, like I don't want to have bad karma. I don't want to be causing people pain. I don't want to be secretive anymore. I definitely don't want to be, um, just causing bad karma to yourself. So if you have been like that in the past, this is a pre, this is the present, no no time like the present to say, you know what, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to have secrets. Um, I don't want to keep things from my partner. You know, if, it, if this bickering that's going on is, is at home and maybe in a relationship-based kind of situation, then maybe um, if you don't want to reveal certain things, you don't have to reveal everything, but you just need to know that moving forward, you don't want to have those those secrets those traits that maybe have kept you from fully engaging in a relationship with somebody because you've been dishonest you know just move forward always with a clean slate and that way you don't run the risk of you know you don't want to over reveal things either at the same time but just try to work at your relationship in a way where you're not withholding things or doing things that the other person might get upset about. Because this card right here is kind of showing to me based on everything that I've read here is that in the past you have been a little secretive and withheld information and maybe you just want to move forward and tr try to find ways to not repeat some mistakes from your past into your current relationships and future. Okay, Scorpio? So this card here is similar to this one, but it talks about your pre your uh, future. It could also, so this one's a little bit about what could happen, you know, what might come to light for you. This is this kind of a similar situation, but it, it's like a future, but it's kind of going through your present as well. And you have the King of Swords, okay? So in your future, you may have to make a decision, Scorpio. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that one. It's not a bad thing to be a king of swords, but based on the king, like the knight of swords and the sword here, I do want to get a clarifying card. All right. So it looks to me like in your future, Scorpio, you are going to be in a situation where you will have to be the hanged man and what that means and you know what the king of swords can help you do that the hanged man is basically a person that is trying to change their perspective and they are trying to figure things out so they hang themselves upside down the blood rushes to their head they have the light, it's like this enlightenment around their head because they are seeing things in a way that they have never seen them before. You want to try to be um, open to possibilities, open to what needs to get done and get it done. 
okay? The King of Swords is a, it's a very strong authority figure that cuts out the BS. They are just about getting the job done. They are brutally honest. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with being brutally honest. It's how you do it not so much the fact that you're doing it so it's you know it's not the words it's how you say them sometimes that matter most so in your future i see that you are going to put yourself in a position where when you have to be in an authority sort of situation that you are going to be better at taking other people's perspective to heart to make decisions so that um, there isn't so much uh, fighting bickering going on if it's at home, that you are going to make sure that you take care of yourself and your relationship by being absolutely sure that you're taking the other person's pers perspective into account. Leaving the high priestess, what the high priestess had to say in the past, I'm not going to be secretive, I'm not going to be vindictive, I'm not going to neglect this person's needs because I'm angry with them. You are going to take the route of taking control of your life and being the hanged man where you are going to look at the other person's perspective and really try to focus on what you can do to help the situation versus controlling it. Okay, Scorpio. So I hope if that resonates with you that um, it helps. Um, it's not going to resonate with everybody. If, I, if it doesn't resonate with you, I'll catch you next time, Scorpio. But in the meantime, I would appreciate a like um, or a thumbs up um, and a comment. Um, just be kind, please. I, I don't um, expect you to tell me everything's wonderful if you don't think it is. But I do expect you to be, I hope that you're kind about it. I would also love to hear any ideas for any future reads. And, of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reads from me. And thank you for joining me, Scorpio. And I'll see you later at um, Miami Star Tarot. Thank you.